In this example, we're going to be dealing with variable scope. We've seen different aspects of functions and how to deal with variables, and we know that there are differences when you use variables within functions and outside of functions. Here we're going to talk about it, and you want to see the actual video on global variables, and that's going to explain more about global variables, because you can share the variables, you can actually have the variables see each other based on the variables that are outside of the function, if they're global, then the internal function can manipulate them. Otherwise, you're not going to have the ability to see what's internal. Now, if we slide down and just look at how things work, a normal page that's going to include functions is going to be set up something like this. If we just scroll to the bottom of the user functions page and ignore everything that's upper, up to the top, you're going to define your functions up front, up top. You might also even have some other variables up here defined that would be defined up here in the very very top of the file I placed them down here so we can see them in the output of what we're doing in the middle of the page it's easier to have a nice presentation that way as you can see everything's going to be placed in the middle here but normally you would store that at the top or in a different file altogether but in regards to scope variable scope that's just the word that they use scope is where can you see a variable based on how it's being used and when it's being used. Well, there's a page level scope and that is anything that's not internal to a function. And again, we're sliding down here. Anything that's not internal to the function is just going to have page level scope. You might consider it global scope, but it's really global to the page. It's not global scope. That would be wrong thinking in PHP. Sometimes in other languages, you might be able to see variables inside of a function just because it's declared outside but with PHP when you have a function you have to actually do something and that's the global variables in order to see them inside so any variable outside here isn't going to be visible inside and we know about changing variables you can only change them using the reference type and the return value and that is the variables that are going to be outside and then entered into a function so functions are like a little black box that you really need to do certain things in order to see them and use them. Let's just give an example. Now, it's all high-level information, meaning that if you actually use things in certain ways in PHP, you can get different results. So there is a level of strictness that may not be as strict as you would expect, but it can be pretty strict in certain regards. So what we're going to do is we'll echo out that S1 which you see down here. Put a bunch of exclamation points just so we know where it is. And then we'll just finish that up. And that's user functions. You can do that as you need to. Little syntax error, we'll fix that. Line 105. We forgot our comma. There we go. And there we go. Well, we put those exclamation points there, right? And we have a colon, but you notice you don't see any value there. S1 is not visible inside the function. It's external. And even though we call it afterwards here, and it should know what it is, it doesn't. It doesn't see that. We have to do something else. We'll see that in the global variables. So that's so you know. It's not going to be loose in those regards. It's going to be strict. So you can't see it that way. Again, ampersand to process the variable so that you can pass them in through the parameter list so that you can see them and return to bring them back out. This is a lot more strict than you might expect in other languages. And I think it's a better approach because it doesn't give you the option to just start using things because then you don't know where you're actually going to be handling things and where you're actually going to be ignoring things. And it really makes for more work on your part if you don't have this strictness. Language strictness can be a good thing. It can really be your friend. When you know that something's not going to work, then you're pretty much going to be in a lot better shape than if you have too many options to use things. So keep that in mind. But that's variable scope. If you want to deal with page to page level processing, then you're going to have to see session variables. And that comes up in the session section. And then each page can see variables that are stored on the server or stored in cookies, for example, and then you can process from page to page.
or you can pass forms in the old way of passing things along. But for the most part, that is variable scope. 